hello! Oh, you know, I've been meaning to come to live in London now for 40 years. Hello? And you know, since I came to London in 1960, thank you very much to my uncle Stavris. Actually, it's not my uncle, it's my brother's mother's father's uncle's from the... Actually, it's just my friend. Actually, I don't like him. Anyway, since I come here, you know, nothing much has changed, you know, except for the people, you know, maybe because they're running around in the busy all day long, you know, because there's lots of wax on the roads now, you know, the, the road wax and the cars. The cars, uh, yeah, they're all Japanese. All of the cars Japanese. All made in China. Yes, and now you have to go into London and then you have to go to, you go to pay now and you go into the, into the middle of the center. And you know, in London you have to, uh, you know, the Ken Chester charge. Yes. But Sabagis Palabagis, always the same. Never changes. Always. <laughs> Are you back yet? I haven't been back yet. Put the bloody kettle on then. Oi, leave it out. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> what did you do that for? Shut up. <laughs> oh, so I give you mighty blood. Oh, hello, Hush. You for coffee? What? I said, do you want a cup of coffee? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I need it. Uh, make it a black ash. What ash? A black coffin. Black coffin? Why? Are you dying? We are all dying, my friend. Some sooner than you think. So make me the black coffin. Okay. But what is wrong with you today, my friend? Oh, you don't want to know, Hush. It's disgusting. Please go on. My ears are to be listening. <laughs> okay, well, I'm telling you, it's not very lovely. You know, I went uh, to this club, you know, in Kensington uh, to pick up these uh, two people from uh, this club. I think it was a sexual club, you know, because it was a uh, MS. Max and Spencer? Do you mean SNM? Yes, SNM, MNS, MNM, you know, something anyway, I don't know. So, you know, I got there and these two people are standing there naked, no clothes or nothing. So, you know, they got some leather things, you know, just wearing some small, you know, leather things with everything sticking out. It's bloody disgusting. <laughs> no. Telling you. Anyway, and I said, well, hurry up, come inside my cup, come on, I'm calling them to come inside my cup, and they just shout it, hit it, and punch it, and the and punch it. Yes. And I said, all right, come inside, and they come inside my car. Anyway, so, at first they were getting on like swimmings, you know. Uh, what did you do that for? I saw you. Did you touch that blonde girl's tits? I was just checking. Oh, piss off. I, 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 I said, mind your language in my car. What is your breast? I mean, your dress, your, your, your address. It's 13 Bromley Gardens, Holland Park. Do you know where that is? Ah, yes. I know London like my hand up my backside. And then they would both enjoy my lovely and smooth car and my lovely smooth driving, you know. And they were looking out the window. Did you have a lovely time at the party? Well, someone had a good time. Come on. Don't come on me. And then I felt something funny was going to happen in my cabin because they started shouting and screaming. Come on, babe. Shut up! And then I think the lady was sick in my bloody cabin. You make me sick. But it was OK, you know, because the man said I think she was uh, just overacting. Why are you overreacting? And then she punched him in the face with a hammer. Yes. Oh, dearie me. Was he all right? Yeah, he was a very big man. Big. Look. Big. And then she threw it in his face, and he was all covered in blood. Why, well, and you did that because... Because it's over. So I had to step in, and I had to tell them to shut up and be good people, because I was going to take them to the police station. Really? Oh, stop, stop, please, oh, stop it. Come on, get on to the old police. Jesus Christ, stop it. What's the matter with you? You hit it and you fight it and you... Why? Why? You must learn to love each other. You must, you know, when I met my Marian in Aphrodite's rocks in Paphos, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what a lovely, beautiful girl. I have to marry her up. You met your wife at Aphrodite's rocks. That's romantic. No, no, no. That was my, my girlfriend I met. 
but uh, Maria, my wife I have now is uh, my uh, my mother. You know, she uh, chose that for me. But what is mean? It doesn't matter because what is mean is you have to learn to love each other. You have your whole life ahead of you, all of it. If he looks at another girl, he looks. It's not love. You have to let him express himself. Let his love come naturally. Yes. Now look. Look into each other's eyes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, look. Look, look. Now hold hands. Come on, hold hands. And you say to her, my beautiful, lovely girl, sorry for the friction I have made in you tonight. Go on, go on, do it. My beautiful. Lovely girl. <laughs> lovely girl. Sorry for the friction. Sorry for the fr friction. <laughs> I have put in you tonight. I have put in you tonight. And you say, no problem. No problem? Yeah. But if you... Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Kiss it and make it up. Kiss it and make it up. <laughs> Savagis palavagis never changes. You know, I remember once I had to fight with Maria myself. And that's why we'll never fight with her again. Ever. <laughs> then I asked him if they wanted me to sing a song. Do you want some music? The lady couldn't help herself. She said, yes, yes, please. Yes. <sighs> then the lovely lady, she says to me, sing louder, please, Savagis. Sing louder! You have such a lovely, beautiful, high-quality voice. Lower? Lower? But what I didn't realize is that, you know, because my voice was so hypnotic, 